she gonna jump in? Does she know how to swim? Somehow I feel like she doesn't. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Spy Family episode 11, Stella. Hmm, is she gonna get a Stella this episode? <laughs> Last episode was the dodgeball match, which was, that episode was so funny. I think it was so funny. She was gonna do this tower catching arrow, something or other like that. And she just like, nah, it didn't work out. <laughs> but at least Damien stood in for her, like saved her from being eliminated and whatnot. But yeah, it was just a funny episode. Thank you guys. I thought I was done with my reaction. <laughs> so before I, so, um before I get into this reaction, if you oh my goodness. Before I get into this episode, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting your Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini and now let's start this episode and here we go. <laughs> Was the dog having a flashback or something? I went, I went back because I wanted to see what like that that, that that little flash that that dog clearly is the dog that had the flash. <laughs> People, this family man, she wants a dog and now she's gonna get okay. First of all, in the flash you see Anya, um, Lloyd and the you all okay, and it seems like, in my opinion, it seems like the dog saw the future. Like saw those three come in to like maybe pick him up, choose him as a dog or something. Maybe he's gonna get himself chosen as a dog. Who knows? I don't know. But that's what it seems like. To me. I don't think that scene has happened, and we just don't know about it. I feel like it's gonna happen, which means that if it's gonna happen, that means this dog can see the future. <laughs> Or something I don't know that, that wouldn't surprise me because this whole family is like the daughter is a telepath whatever like can read minds the, the the wife is an assassin and then the, the is a spy so it's like this whole family is gonna be some kind of special people like bending together and I'm pretty sure the dog is gonna be special too which is why when I saw that I'm like what powers do you have? I feel like he's gonna see he gets maybe glimpses of what's gonna happen, maybe. Because it seems like based on what these two people that were coming to feed the dogs, based on what they were saying, it seems that these dogs have been experimented on or something. So it wouldn't surprise me if they developed at least this particular one developed some kind of special ability. So yeah. She got a Stella! <laughs> this whole episode was them trying to get her to get a Stella. And um, at first, Lloyd wanted to go at it through her studies. She didn't want to study. She, she wasn't really good at it. And there was one exam thing where she's like, she tried to read off of people, but it didn't really turn out right. And then she's like, now I just need to figure out who is grade in what subject and then just read their minds when it comes to it and i'm like girl how about you just like actually learn this stuff and then lloyd mentioned something about he was thinking and then i think he mentioned something about the other kids like oh yeah he said that if she was to suddenly like he could manage i'm about to use a french word <laughs> he could make it in such a way that she gets a Stella, like manipulate stuff in a way that she gets a Stella. But then people will be suspicious if she gets, you know, like a hundred points on her test, like immediately with not that much of an effort. And I think when she heard that, she's like, people, I think Lois said something about people are going to be suspicious of her when she, if she does that. And then she's like, okay, so if I do that, then these people are gonna hate me. So it's like, okay. Now Lloyd had this idea about uh, one other way that we get a Stella is by doing community service. So they go to this hospital and they try to get <laughs> anything that she was trying to do. She was just messing up. They went to the library. She just sat there and started reading books. It wasn't really do manga. It wasn't really doing any work. And um, the 
director, I guess, of the hospital, like, got tired of it, or the hair nurse, whoever it was, got tired of it, like, you know, go away. And while they were leaving, they walked past this little boy that was going to go get some therapy in the pool. And the woman just left him, right? And he was worried about the temperature of the pool. And he went there and then he slipped and fell into the pool. He couldn't swim. Like, you know, his legs was hurt. So he couldn't swim. He was sinking. And Anya hears him crying out for help and at first i thought she told she outright told lloyd that there was a boy that was drowning and everything but it turns out to be um she was imagining it and just seeing um lloyd's reaction to it she got scared and so she was like, I'm really bad at being, you know, at doing this. So I'm just going to go and learn to swim and get my Stella through that. And then she just runs in there. She got to the pool. She's like trying to look, see where the boy was at. And then, you know, figure it out what it was. And then she jumped in there. And I'm like, do you know how to swim? And she that was getting weaker and weaker she couldn't swim anymore and i knew lloyd was gonna come in and jump in and all that so they saved the boy and she got a stella out of it <laughs> and now she's like call me starlight i need something and the other kids in the school were Basically, just coming up with excuses as to how she got the Stella and everything. And they asked Damien about it. And clearly, Damien was like, so do you really think that this school is so easily manipulated that they can give, like, a Stella to anybody on, you know, and all of that? She basically, he basically shamed them. And, yeah. And then there were other... Mm. they were gonna eat <laughs> and uh, Becky was asking her what she was gonna get as a gift for getting Estella and everything and Becky was telling her about all these things that she got and that the favorite thing that she got was her dog and Damien was walking by and Anya asked him if he had a dog and clearly he ha he did so in Anya's mind if she also gets a dog and she presents her dog to Damien, they can be, be become dog friends, whatever. She's going to get invited to the house and then world peace. <laughs> like, oh, her imaginations, man. I love the voices that she was making as she was trying to mimic each character while she's thinking about all those stuff. It was so cute. So when she got home, she asked um lloyd for a dog and lloyd was like okay that's not a bad idea you know if you could get her a dog you could use like a that could be some kind of security stuff and then you have <laughs> you're over there <laughs> saying that you know dogs are sometimes mean that they could eat shred her and whatever and then and it's like okay let's just get like a cute little doggy you know but clearly, whatever cute little doggy that she was thinking about getting, she's not going to get. She's going to get this dog that they showed at the end there. So, yeah. Looking forward to that. I just, I'm curious if his power, like I said, is to see into the future. Uh, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, you can do so by checking out my Patreon. My Patreon.com slash And you can also see the full info of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.